It's not like I haven't tried. I can't even remember when I started therapy. Eight, nine, ten. First it was guidance counselors from school, then social workers. I think my first real shrink was in junior high. Nine shrinks, five diagnoses, two rehabs. Okay, one hospitalization and one country club. Breaking up with my friends, my boyfriends, making new friends, getting back boyfriends, in school, out of school, and drugs, many, many drugs. Well, I stopped all of it. I had to before I believed them that something was wrong with me. I mean, nothing seems to change no matter what I do, so maybe this is just me. I can't help my desire not to be alive. I've lied for the past two years. I've faked joy and happiness to everyone. I've stopped telling anyone the truth. And guess what? Everyone around me got happier, full of hope, and enjoyed my company. <laughs> and yes, this did make me happier too. Despite my return to normal, I'm still me. And while I can't dwell on it all day, I do know that every day I'd rather not be here. Mostly when I drive home. I'm alone in my car, alone with my thoughts, and they wait. Wait till they know it's coming. I can see it in my mind. The, the light changes first, even at night, maybe even more so than, than the trees. They lean in over the roadway, hinching their branches till they're intertwined, blocking out the, the moon. The stones are huge, like boulders. They were originally used for a little overpass, now refortified with concrete. Six lanes of highway roar above. The boulders still guard the entrance. It's so long, it's almost a tunnel. When you first enter, just for a moment, there's no exit in sight. I start to speed up. Even if I don't mean to, even not consciously thinking about it, it's the speed that makes me become aware of the curve ahead. I wish I could tell you that it is fear I feel, but it never is. I do a quick check to make sure I'm good with it, and then I take off my seatbelt, and I take a deep breath and decide to live or not. I close my eyes for a second, or two, or three. Usually by five I open them and slow down, but there is no reason why one day I won't. As I pass through, I feel sad and angry that I'll have to wake up another day and fake being happy. I'll just have to wait until I drive home again into my concrete overpass. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs>